Hallelujah. Yeah. The good news is do what you want to do. <laughs> the bad news is like that. that your sins going to find you out. Well, my late chief apostle used to say, folks 21 and over, they're going to do what they want to do. True. All you can do is tell them. True. That's all I'm trying to do is tell you the truth. Amen. You can still do whatever you want to do. <laughs> whatever you've grown enough to do. Go ahead, but God. your sin is going to find you out. Yes, How? Help. help me, God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, help we me. need some help today. Yeah. Good call to my help, Lord. We need God to bring us out. Yeah. We need God to move for yeah. us. In the name of Jesus, God send your help. Send your anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the songwriter said, Lord, we need a revival. Amen. In times like these, we need a revival. revival. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I remember when I was coming up in God, that's all we had was revivals. Yeah. Amen. If, yeah. you, if you was brought up in the Lord or if you was young back in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, amen, everywhere. Revivals, yeah. prayer revivals, soul saving revivals, oh. all type of revivals. Yeah. Amen. Now folks don't even want to come to church no more. True. Amen. You talk about a revival, folks don't want to come to church no more. How are you going to have a revival? True, true. Hallelujah. But we need a revival. Hallelujah. Pastors falling by the wayside. Yeah. Elders falling by the wayside. Preach. Evangelists falling by the wayside. Men are such. Wow. Oh, you preaching. Good God. Hot folks gonna live right when the leaders won't live right. Help 
us, Lord. Lord knows I didn't expect this message to go this way. Amen. Beautiful. Read, Apostle. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongues that speak a proud thing. You hear that? God going to cut it off. Hallelujah. All these flattering lips talking, whispering sweet things in your ear. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come here for a minute, Apostle. Just, just one second. Hallelujah. You sitting up in the house of prayer and you trying to get saved, but yet still you want a husband, you want a wife, and then here come this guy, he whispering. Good God Almighty. 
Hallelujah. And he wondered why she got to be gone all day long in the house of prayer. Hallelujah. Help. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. He put that suit on, and he didn't have no car, but he walked to church. Wow. wow. He walked until he got to that church. Wow. And he saw his wife was still there at the church. Hallelujah. Saw so she was still there. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And you know, from that day on, he never left the church. Wow. Wow. Help. Help. Lord. He stayed right there. Hallelujah. Next to his wife. Hallelujah. Beautiful. Glory to God. We need God to help us. Stop listening, stop listening to them flattering lips. Hallelujah. God will take care of you. But you got to take, you take care of God's business and he'll take care of yours. Read. Will we prevail? Our lips are our own. You don't need nobody talking for you. Speak for yourself. You don't need nobody telling you you need to do this and you need to do that. You need to get saved. Amen. You need to get delivered. You need for God to move for you. Hey! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Some folks will even say you need to get away from that little church. Speak, Pastor. Teach. Hallelujah. But you know what God told you? I don't understand folks saying, God told me to come here. And a couple of months later, they gone. What God was that? <laughs> Help him, Lord. All right. Help, Lord. God ain't going to speak against himself. No, he's not. Hallelujah. I can see if God has elevated you and your leader spoke to you and said now it's time for you to get your own. But when you just say, I got to go somewhere else. I got to move. God spoke to me. Your God got a double mind. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Because that same God will speak to you again and tell you to move on again. Free yes. well, faster. Well. Hallelujah. I remember Pastor Williams used to say, when you see folks running from this church to that church, from this church to that church, you ain't nothing but a homemonger. A church hop. Church hop. Hallelujah. This one church hasn't satisfied you. It's just like a woman going to another man or a man going to another woman. They're not satisfied with this one woman, so they're going to another one. True. True. But when you get help, when you get help, you'll settle down. Amen. You'll let God do it for you. Hallelujah. Stop running from this one to that one, from that church to that church. Settle yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Especially when you get up and leave and ain't sat down and talk to your leader. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, one thing I thank God for, and I'll never forget this woman for that testimony. 
I'll never forget. She said, we're a small church. Amen. But we're powerful. Yes. Amen. Yes. See, it's not about all the numbers. You know, that's one thing Elf Caldwell, he taught me. He said, you take the 99% and I'll take the 1%. All right. And we're going to win the battle. We're going to win the battle. Hallelujah. You can have a thousand numbers. Hallelujah. And I can have a hundred. Yes. But that because you got a thousand, that don't mean you won't win. <laughs> Help the Lord. Help Lord. Hallelujah. It's not about how many people you got. It's about how many souls are saved. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. Look, how is everybody, you got a thousand people, you don't know them. But they don't know you. Amen, that's one thing Pastor taught. See, she, she taught him, she said, you got to be reachable to the people. The people got to be able to reach you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. See, I know Minister Wright when he comes to church. Because he's going to say, help somebody. Tell the truth, help somebody. He's going to say, tell the truth. Help somebody. I know that that's Minister Wright. Amen. Hallelujah. I know that I'm going to get a phone call from Elder Snyder. I know that he's going to call me up and check on me. He said, I'm just calling to check on you to find out how you're doing. Yes. Yeah. When I don't get that call, then I start to wear. Hallelujah. But I know, Elder Snyder, that that's what he's going to do. Right. Hallelujah. Know those whom you labor among. Yeah. Amen. How are you going to know all these people? You ain't going to know them. I've learned a, a lot. I know a lot of people down through the years. But guess what? If I went to kindergarten with you, I ain't gonna know who you are today. I don't know you no more. Cause I don't labor among you. I knew you as long as I labored with you. Everybody you grew up with. Hallelujah. I'd have had people say, You remember so and so? I'm like, I can't place them right now. I can't place them because I don't remember them. I no longer labor with them, I'm no longer around them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. But you remember folks that you labor with. Amen. You know them. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Apostle, read that seventh and eighth verse. We're going to get ready to let you go. Thou, thou shalt keep them, O oh Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from the generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. 
Violence men are unpleasant. They're extremely unpleasant. They nasty and they wicked. Mm. Hallelujah. The wicked walk on every side when the violence men are exalted. Don't you know folks will exalt a wicked person before they will a child of God? Amen. Don't you help somebody. Look at some of these jobs y'all working on. And you know that you're doing a better job. But yet, they're going to exalt the wicked man first. They're going to give it to them before they give it to you. Oh, I know because I've been there. Sister Pastor, I've been there. And I know that they would rather have the wicked over you than put you over them. But we need God to help. Don't you help, help somebody. Help, Lord. We need God to move. We need God to deliver. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Our lives are predestinated. Hallelujah. And things that happen, we may not understand it. At that time, we be hurt, we be upset, we be crying, we, we do all kinds of things because we don't understand all the hard work that we've done but yet, someone else is being exalted over us. Hallelujah. But tell the Lord, help. Help. God's going to bring you out. Look. Joseph brothers did him wrong. They became envious of him. Some of the brothers even wanted to kill them. But see, that wasn't in God's plan. So Reuben spoke up. And they killed the an animal. And they took the blood from the animal and they put it on his coat of many different colors. And they threw Joseph in a pit. And the Canaanites, they came by. And they took Joseph up out of the pit. See, sometimes we feel like we're in a pit. But God is sent by somebody to rescue us out of the pit. Hallelujah. They took Joseph to Egypt and sold him. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. They sold him. He was in a horrible pit. But look what God did. God raised them up above all his brothers. They had 